I'm MC Depp. Jungle's flexing. Bursting into the public eye on the back of General Levy's incredible, Jungle is a new sound of the year. My personal views are that to me it's new dimension music. This is another dimension of the music, it's a new format. It's a word to that hasn't happened for, I don't know, 10, 20 years. All the youths everywhere, in every city, every time, they're on it, believe me. To understand Jungle, we have to go back in time to the days of rave. <laughs> It was the Prodigy's Charlie with its children's program samples that put an end to rave as far as the British style papers were concerned. But thousands were still dancing and the musicians were still working in the studio. Charlie says always turn your mind before you go off somewhere. Two years ago everybody knocked jungle. They knocked hard, you know, they knocked hardcore music. It's the same thing they're listening to. It mixed man, they knocked it. But now they're quick to jump back in it and call it something else. If you ask any of the ravers, you know, they've known about this music for years. Do you know what I mean? And it's just, it's now seeped through because the music's just gotten so good. You know, the record companies are like, yeah. Because, I, you know, I remember last year, we was kind of like laughed at by a lot of people. Boom, shaka attack. Out of the public eye, the scene was able to mature. And somewhere along the line, hardcore lost its name, its baggy clothes and sped up vocals and got a new image and a new name. And Jungle's the inner city jungle, that's where it's coming from. That's just basically a name that media's taken and, and, and we're quite happy with it. Other theories say it is named after the Jamaican patois for Trenchtown, Jamaica, or that its origins are even racist. I suppose you can sort of like class it as a racist thing, but it's like what um, like a lot of rappers took the word nigger and change that round so like even if someone said nigger it just meant nothing. The term jungle if someone takes that and uses it positively then the whole sort of like negative side of it disappears. <laughs> sides to jungle but the single most crucial element of jungle is the breakbeat. So all breakbeats is for those who don't know it's um <laughs> it's just um hip-hop breaks and like James Brown breaks yeah. they take a snare off it or they'll just put two breaks together and speed that beat up a bit it sounds wicked and it sounds different. original mad 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 Jungle music is basically the joining of um, different elements of music into one. Techno, i.e. reggae music, um, you can incorporate jazz, hip-hop, hardcore trance music. That is jungle. If Rebel and C's original tracks that used to do Double Trouble, you can now say that they were jungle tracks because they were kind of... At the time, people were saying, you know, it was kind of like half hip-hop, half ragga, half house, half acid, or quarter beat, anyway. But now it's kind of like, you know, the, the, now that the phrase has been coined, you look back and that was jungle, really. Fundamentally, the drum is there and the bass is there from reggae. So everything comes from reggae. So now that you've got jungle, that's another stem, because reggae is the root. It's more ragamuffin to me, you know what I mean? It's just ragamuffin with a fast bit and we like them thing there. Music started to move towards the rave and, the, and, and, and that kind of scene which is all developed from England and they, they just couldn't go anywhere else with it. It began to get very eerie and technical and the only bit of flavouring that's really helped to spice it up has been the reggae bass lines because the drum beats were going and then suddenly you had this reggae bass line that would just slow it down and the obvious thing to go on it is the, the reggae DJ or the ragga voice. Shut up and dance, they, they're the pioneers of it. They, they, they started. Shut up and dance and reggae has been started. We started fusing the reggae because before that, nobody was using the reggae. We invented reggae house, there's no doubt about that. On a reggae tip, SL2. Now, that was a jungle tune, you know, whether people like it or not, that was a jungle tune that got to number two. But because the phrase jungle wasn't coined, you know what I mean? A lot of people didn't know how to bracket that tune. And they, they got dropped by the record company soon after. Black is black, white is white, so together we unite. Underneath one house, one level, with a bass and treble jump. 
Just a little something for the weekend, you know the score. During the transition from hardcore into jungle, the scene split into two. Those who wanted escapism, happy hardcore. And those who wanted realism, the dark side. This is the same as the blues in the 60s, you know. I want to go home, my wife's left me, but it's social condition, yeah? You know, it's like you got dark, I made dark music, you know, I was making the blues for the 90s. Jungle is a serious music, right? It's not a happy music. Right now, jungle is representing what people feel on the street and they don't feel happy. It's gone are the happy days, smiley faces and all that shit. That's not involved in jungle. Jungle is hardcore, it's from the root. Emerging from the frustration of the inner cities, uniting elements such as soul jazz and reggae, Jungle is in many ways Britain's answer to America's hip-hop music. It's a good parallel because jungle music has been born out of the vibes around us. Whether you're black or white, it's a working class sort of thing. And I think that's the, the edge it's got. That's why the, the kids like it so much, because it's, it's quite raw. But, and it's got the energy, and you've got to remember as well the speed. It's like 160 BPA, which is like twice as fast as like normal dance stuff. But how do you dance to it? Because it's so fast. Well, just dance. Don't dance to the drum. Dance to the bass. Because if you dance to the bass, you dance slower. Not only has it got its own dance, but like all street cultures, it has also got a distinctive image. Machino Facade, Valentino Cabin Clan. Yes. Wicked. Jungle. Jungle is the sound of the underground. A culture of independent labels. Pirate radio. It's dedication, they're de very dedicated people who are on that pirate radio. And they've got a lot to lose, more than gain. You know what I mean? They have a great deal to lose. So, as I said, yeah, big up the pirates because they're doing the job in hand that, you know, many of us probably couldn't get over, and they're getting it over. And independent record shops like Ibiza. It's a really good mood of beer, basically. It's just got good elements, and it's just getting popular and popular, and getting better and better. As the kids then understand their computers much better, and, it, and it's growing and growing on the mass. And you can't stop good jungle music. What the time you have to dread? Jungle may have emerged from the aggression of hardcore, but leading jungle artists like Goldie are trying to turn it into something deep and sophisticated, in the same way that aerosol vandalism was transformed into a new art form. Well, the production of this music here, it has style. You know when it drops, you know. If a graffiti writer in New York looks at my paintings, he's going to see this bona fide. The midline between what, what hardcore is, what I think it is, is having enough style to be under the street and to be... Yeah, that's bona fide. People who can clock it and realise what that is, yeah, that's got style. I can really hear that, you know? But it still can cross over in popularity, not pop. You know, it can cross over and, and cross over for the right reasons. And that's what the integrity line is, that's where I draw the line. Jungle's been a stay for a long time. It's safe, wicked vibes, um, for black and white people come together as one. It's safe. <laughs> As long as there's people living in the cities who are uh, living and from day to day struggling and having everyday experiences, as long as there's people that are actually there, the signing on, like getting a gyro and all that, there's people like that which has been created by the system. As long as people like that, there'll always be jungle. <laughs> <laughs>